um, uh, 2011 conference, like at, at an Alco uh, mm -hmm. the conference, which last year was held in San Francisco, you had this talk uh, titled "Algorithms for Masses," and when you in that talk you hinted some uh, kind of you you gave some pointers to where book publishing can go, and you mentioned the fact that the why is the paper is written. I mean, the papers nowadays are not read on, on, on paper, unfortunately, and but they're written still as if they will be read on paper. So right. can you uh, elaborate on... Uh, well, I think such? particularly for uh, publishing of scientific results, mm -hmm. uh, uh, now uh, most conferences don't print proceedings anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, so they will uh, put up on the web uh, these abstract things that are kind of like paper, but they'll never be read on paper. Whereas, as and that's an example, in my generation, somebody would look at that situation and say, okay, I'm going to write a scientific paper viewer editor for <laughs> that uh, will uh, allow people to use color and motion and dynamics and other things in expressing their scientific ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's going to be read on a ver vertical screen or a pad or it should be device independent, uh, mm -hmm. and that's the way you should write it. Uh, so, uh, and people should be exchanging ideas that way, whereas in computer science, people are looking at half renditions of PDFs. I think yeah. it's ridiculous. Yeah. If you, so you're <laughs> saying that in the years to come, if you mention the word simulation in a paragraph, there should be an actual yeah. simulation. There should be a Java, I guess, app yeah. or something. whatever. Describe. Or you can put a movie in, movie whatever in. you want. So yeah. uh, uh, I, I would... In, I have that time, but uh, my intent is to write a, uh, uh, a prototype for that just to show what's possible because mm -hmm. uh, it's so easy uh, uh, to, to do and to really be expressive uh, and make use of uh, everything at, at your command to do these things. And uh, mm -hmm. for people to be just using existing tools and not worrying about uh, how we're going to exchange scientific ideas. Right. Uh, I think it's a uh, terrific lost opportunity. Uh, it's again one of this kind of ambitiously frightening startup slash research ideas which threaten your identity. That's why nobody kind of uh, takes it. Uh, uh, <laughs> can nobody you can it. you could decide to yeah. uh, have uh, uh, total impact on the future of scientific publishing. Uh, and you know any individual could uh, spend a year and get that to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, <laughs> so that's go for it. No. <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. uh, that's you know that's what Knuth did with tech. That was one guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the entire thing, which yeah. is used by millions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so it, it's totally clear that uh, you know something like this is going to happen and it doesn't have to be done by a big company it can be done by an individual yeah. and when we were doing it we were coding in assembly language yeah. on you know 32k machines mm -hmm. uh, so it was difficult yeah. uh, now you've got uh, you know unbelievable resources uh, at your disposal so and <laughs>